I will turn the darkness before them into light. Isaiah 42, 16. Tokyo, Japan holds a lot of tradition, and yet also a lot of darkness. What has passed down from generations doesn't lead to life. Yet God has promised that Jesus has served as a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind and bring out the prisoners from darkness. This has always been our prayer. We have seen God at work and we know that nothing stands in the way of Him saving His people. We are grateful to be a small part of it. We have been living in Tokyo, Japan for seven years. These are our kids, Jay, Kaya, Tamia, and Peter. After Seda served as a pastor in Virginia for 10 years, along with the support from others, we felt called to serve in Tokyo. Over the past seven years, we've been involved in church planting. Three years ago, God provided Ian and Chi Nagata to serve alongside us to plant a new church in our neighborhood, and they have been such an asset to the life of our community. We started Toyosu Community Church three years ago in our living room with a vision of making disciples, creating a community, helping members understand the gospel at a deep heart level, and creating a reproducible model of a local Japanese church. This all came after much prayer and counsel and lots of observations of other churches in the city. Among the ladies, I've recently taken on leading the Bible study from Satan Ian. Also, there have been smaller discipleship groups that we call DNA groups for the Christians that meet in addition to the Bible study. During that time, I meet with a group of non-Christians to discuss faith. Some of these ladies have been in our community for several years, but one lady is new to the group. Recently, I had been specifically praying for God to bring people into my path. About two months ago, as I was studying Japanese at a coffee shop, I met a lady sitting next to me. It turns out that she had just moved to Toyosu two days earlier, and I was the first friend she met here. Over the next six weeks, I introduced her to as many friends as possible. She has since joined our Bible study and is eagerly studying the life of Jesus. She is Japanese, but had recently moved from the States where a local church held ESL classes that she attended. This made me wonder who was praying for her to meet a Christian in Japan upon her return home. What are the chances? It is impossible not to see God's hand at work in this. Tokyo has a population of almost 35 million people, with less than 1% of the population who are Christian. Population of Toyosu, which is less than one mile radius, is currently 37,000 people, and our section of Toyosu has 11,000 people. The Bay Area continues to grow at an almost uncontrollable rate, unlike the rest of the declining population growth in Japan. High-rise apartment buildings have restrictions to attempt to slow the number of new families moving into the area and reduce the strain of the schools. Sure, these numbers impact our work, but they don't determine the success of the growth. The growth we pray for are disciples making disciples, deeply understanding and applying the gospel in everyday life and allowing the gospel to shape our worship, prayer and priorities. Even though we've been doing our Sunday gathering on Zoom for over a year, during the week we're able to meet outside with some of our church members and community. Because we already live our daily lives side by side, this is not difficult to do. Tokyo has been in a state of emergency for the majority of 2021 so far, and we look forward to our Sunday gathering in the same room again. We live in the area where many of the Olympic events will take place, and here we can see the Olympic Village. With them being postponed, the Olympic Village has sat completely empty as well as the sporting venues, and the majority of them are in our area. Only 2% of the population have been vaccinated here. Many parks and recreation centers have been closed, and our kids' sports have been postponed until the Olympics are finished. Our ministry has never been dependent on external events. So other than minor inconveniences, we have been largely unaffected. Despite the many 
COVID restrictions that we experienced this past year, we have seen God at work in many ways in the life of our community. One of the non-Christian husbands that we've known for several years, he started attending our Sunday gathering on a weekly basis, faithfully engaging in spiritual conversations with us. And he started reading the Bible every day this year. And I meet with him for lunch every week. And we talk about that, what he's learning, what he's learning about God. And so God is clearly at work in this man's life. So please do pray for his conversion and more men to come to know Jesus. Obviously, we want um, the gospel to reach the hearts of those God has put in the community with us. And your support both sustains us and encourages us. And we thank you for that. And we long for you to be able to see the effects of your prayers in the lives of our, um, the people in our community. But I do believe one day there will be a day. So please pray for us, pray with us, that God will continue to empower us by His Spirit to display the love, great love that He has for the lost people all around us. So and bring, bring them into the, His family. Thank you for your partnership in the Gospel.